Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Knowles Glitter. How are you doing today? Today, finally, we have our brand new um, purple airbrush guns in, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you guys and show you how to put them together and um, everything you'll need to know before you start using them, okay? So let's get to it. I'm so excited to show you guys this. All right, so they come in these nice boxes here. So when you open it up, it's a really nice box. You can keep it stored in here if you want to or use this box for something else. So inside you're gonna see your um, instructions. Super easy to use, super easy. Tells you all the pieces that you should get, what everything is called over here, and all that jazz. If by chance you don't have one of these in your box, I'm gonna upload this to the group page so you can see. Sometimes um, I've gotten a couple messages that this wasn't included, but it's no problem. I'll get you a copy, no, no big deal. Okay, so then you're gonna open the box and there she is. Look how beautiful she is. You're gonna notice that this little space right here, there's nothing in it. That is intentional. So nothing goes in that box, in that space. So um, don't worry about you missing anything. So you're gonna take it out. First thing you're gonna see is the little trigger. Let me see, I'm gonna give you the correct terminologies to these things. Let me see. So this is called the, I don't know, gun part. It doesn't say what it's called. But it is on our signature purple. It says Mr. Knowles Glitter, and it says less bitter, more glitter. So you know that's what I live by. Also, in here, you're going to find a little mini wrench. That's to tighten the spot, tighten your nuts and stuff like right here if you need it tightened. I don't tighten it that tight for mine, but if, it's, if it happens to be stuck, you have this little tool to get it undone. You're gonna find this dropper. Um, I also do not use the dropper because I use alcohol ink and my inks come in little squeezy bottles. That was the first layer. Under this layer, you're going to see this part. So this is your compressor. This is your rechargeable compressor. This is your charging port. This is where you're going to take your cord here. Um, it does not come with a square, but this is a rechargeable cord. You just plug this into any um, like phone charging cord or anything like that. Any of the squares that you use to recharge your phone or gadgets or pretty much everything else under the sun. This end right here fits into this silver spot right here like this. There you go. And then you would plug this into your um, whatever you have to your square or whatever. And um, you'll notice when it's plugged up, it will turn red. That means it needs to charge. When the light on here turns green, you're good to go, okay? Then you're going to see your first ink cap, ink well, excuse me. This is the one that I use because um, I had these made specifically for alcohol inks. They probably will use regular airbrush inks, but I have not tested them and I have not used them. So I don't know, I don't know how they would work with that, okay? So these are, in all intents purposes, that I'm selling them for, alcohol inks. So I like to use this little, the metal one, because as you know, alcohol ink will stain plastic. So this is metal, just like the rest of the airbrush gun. Um, and it has a little cap and on here this is threaded and it has a little washer um, so this is the top of your gun so you're going to dun 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 and not you don't want to over tighten it but you want it to where it doesn't leak okay so there you go there's your there's your inkwell right here okay and the rest of this stuff is just lanyap. So inside here also, there are two bigger containers. Um, if you want to use one of these to clean your gun with, I'll do another video how to do that. But um, I don't use these because these are plastic and I'm using alcohol ink and alcohol ink will stain them. So that's a little extra down there. So then once you have this, you're going to, I'm gonna unplug it from the charger, all right? And then you're going to just twirl it on the top to connect it, see? 
Now you don't want this overly tight as well. Um, your words might not match up. It doesn't matter. Um, mine didn't match up. Some of them do, some of them don't, uh, but it's not a big deal. This button here is your on off button. And then when you touch it, there it is, it's on. You're gonna feel it right when you turn it on that there's air coming out. That is normal. The, the reason why it's doing that is because it's a compressor and it's blowing air out. So this is normal, it's not broken. The only way that you're going to get ink come out of here, if you're gonna fill it with ink, and then here's your trigger. So the trigger here, if you notice, when you pull it back, it's opening this chamber and that's what's releasing the ink into that airflow, which will which will blow ink out, okay? So yes, you're gonna feel ink, you're gonna feel air coming out of it like right now, but there's nothing, it's that's fine. You're not gonna, it's not gonna continuously blow ink out unless you pull this trigger. So it's like an airbrush gun, um, like a spray paint, one of those spray paint things that we used to put on the top of the spray paint so your finger don't hurt so you don't have to push down so this is just trigger really easy to use when you're done turn it off take your top off empty whatever else is in here empty the remaining ink if there's anything in there and then you're just going to run alcohol ink through here spray it until it runs clear and then you're ready for your another color all right Okay, so give me one second. I'm gonna set up and I'll, we'll run some ink through here and then I'll show you how to clean this, okay? Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna show you a little quick demo and then we're gonna show you how to clean it. So I bought um, a box of these tiles at Home Depot. They are four by four ceramic tiles and they're super fun to play with. I have another tutorial coming and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff, but we're just gonna play around with one of these today, okay? This is just regular vinyl that I've cut with my silhouette machine and um, some shapes. So quickly, I'm going to show you. Um, we're gonna put this on a tile, the best centering that I can, which clearly, I'm not very good at that without measuring it and all that stuff, but it's art, like I've always told you. It is what it is. So then I'm going to pull off this crazy transfer tape which is super mega sticky. I need to get me some transfer tape that's not so sticky. So this is gonna give me heck, okay. So real quick, you're just gonna lay um, any shape that you want down for this, this quick demo. Okay, so we got some little scullies. Let me see, maybe I'll put a couple stars on it just for funsies stars here maybe if they come up <laughs> All right. so there's a little scully listening to his radio his headphones super cute I got this design from the silhouette store okay so we'll put these stars right here just random smattering of little things. Okay, and press them down. Maybe a couple more at the bottom, maybe. Just to finish it out, maybe this big one down here. Okay, and these big ones, maybe another big one over here. Okay, so there we have it. Save these for later. All right, so it's just some vinyl on a tile, right? I showed you how to put it together, so I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you're just going to pull, this is not, this. the cap that goes on the top of this is not threaded, so um, it just kind of snaps, but it has little grippers on it. So you can just use it to, un, to like grab. So if you can see, it's got, um, like serrated, serrated edges or whatever 
Um, I'm gonna start with the lightest color. So my tip here is when you're working with multiple colors and you're trying to work with an ombre, I'm gonna put this paper towel under here. Um, start with your lightest colors first, so that way you don't have to you don't have to necessarily clean in between each color. Okay, that's my tip for the day. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color. I'm gonna start with this blue. We don't need a lot. This is not a big surface area. And you don't have to worry about if this is perfect. You just wanna make sure um, if you have your little, take your little um, vinyl tool here and just make sure they're burnished down because you don't want the ink to get under here for your design, right? Okay, so then you're gonna take a few little drops I do squeeze, but I don't know if you can see in there because it's kind of dark, but it's not a lot in here. All right, put my lid back on. The lid is very important. If you turn this on and start pressing the button with this um, and you pull the trigger with this off, you're gonna spray ink all over you. Ask me how I know, okay? So see, if you could feel this now, it's on, but there's you can feel the air coming from it, but there's no ink coming out of it, right? The ink comes out when you depress the trigger button. See, right now, there's nothing coming out. I don't I don't have my my buttons not on the my fingers not on the on the trigger, right? So now it is. I'm pressing this, pulling it back lightly. The more you pull it out, the more ink comes out. The lighter you pull it out, the lighter your ink comes out. So it's just like airbrushing, like normal airbrushing. I'll make sure I get my sides down here really well. So I want kind of this kind of darkish. So if you can see, alcohol ink dries super fast. So that's done for my first color. I'm going to press the button, turn it off, undo my cap. There's not a lot of ink in here, but I'm going to empty it into the trash and seriously, this is all that came out, like just a couple. If you want to here, you can put your paper towel in here and swab it out if it makes you feel better. But because I used the lighter color and then I'm gonna move to the darker color, I don't really matter, but that's a tip. So not a lot in there. And then I'm gonna go with, what color did I go with next? I had a little design on my paper here. So I went with the purple next. So I'm gonna just drop any alcohol inks work in here. Um, it doesn't matter the brand. It's not brand specific. The only thing that I find that uh, it, I have a difficult time is with the pearls or the metallics because they have they're a little heavier and also the white um, is a little heavier. So if you want to thin that out a little bit, maybe that'll work. But I I really had issues with that. So see, again, gun is on. You can feel the air coming out of it, but there's nothing coming out of my hand, okay? Sorry guys, it's thundering. So now, you're gonna have a little bit of that blue in there, but now the purple's coming out. So I'm just holding it up a little bit. See, I'm getting that little ombre down there. I'm getting running them together. Super easy to ombre with an airbrush. I think I'm pretty good with the purple. I'm just running that down there so my colors are mixed. It's a little darker than it's appearing on screen. And because I didn't use a lot of ink in this one, I'm already out of ink. So even though my hand, I even though I'm pressing the button, there's no ink left in the barrel, so there's no ink coming out, okay? I'm gonna turn it off, take my lid off, and I'm gonna go right into the blue. I'm not gonna, I don't need anything else. And then right into the blue. So start off with a little. If you're worried about wasting ink, start off with a little because you can always refill it, um, but you can't get the ink back from here into your bottle. So the little, I would start off with a little and then you can build up. Again, power on, nothing coming out. I'm gonna turn this upside down a little bit. 
and get my blue. I'm making sure I get my size really well. So you can wear gloves if you're worried about getting ink all over you, clearly. All right, so there is our ombre tile, right? Super cute. There's a little bit more in here. I might make it just a little darker at the top. All right, so now that is sitting. It'll instantly dry because it's alcohol ink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and blow it till there's no more. So all my ink is out, pressing the button. There's a little bit coming out, but there's no, there's no ink in here. So we're gonna turn this off for a minute, okay? I'm gonna put this to the side. You're gonna find your weeding tool uh -huh -huh, or some pokey pliers. And now, this is dry because this is alcohol ink. It dries super fast. See, nothing on my hands, dries super fast. There's one little spot that wasn't dry. But now, what we're gonna do is we're going to pick up this vinyl and check it out. You have some really cool, if you like the vinyl on there, by all means, leave the vinyl on there. But I like to see the reverse look and it leaves it super stark white under there. Super easy. Just be careful that you don't scratch your coaster or your whatever you're working on. So um, if you are using the pointy part, point it in to where the ink is not. So check it out. So easy breezy guys that look that took literally five minutes right all right um, I'll be right back and then I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and clean it okay and we're back here is our finished tile I finished taking off the um, vinyl and I think it kind of looks cool so if you wanted to make this into a coaster to give away with your uh, cups or if you make something really cool to match with the cups, the tumblers that you're making for your customers, a little bitty tile, we, I will tape this off, I will epoxy it and then put some felt on the back and they have like a cool little coaster or a little decor, decorative item or what have you uh, that matches with the tumbler that you just made them, okay? All right, so now that we have that done, our gun needs to be cleaned. You should clean it after after you're done. So you could do tons of stuff with it right now, but before you're done with, an, with it for the night, you need to clean it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how simple it is. I'm gonna get a paper towel here. I have my handy dandy dirty bowl. Um, this is my cleaning bowl. Maybe I should wipe it out. Maybe it's stained, that's all right. Okay, got me a couple paper towels. And what I use to clean my um, air gun is 91% um, alcohol. You can get this, I think I bought this one, of course is Walmart, but um, I think I've been able to get it from CVS, wherever you, wherever you normally get your alcohol, um, that's where you would get that. All right, so just like we put it together, we're gonna to take it apart. So what we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew this from the compressor. This is, we don't need to clean anything on the compressor. The compressor is ready to be put on the charger so you can use it for next time, okay? So we're gonna put that over there. So that you're done, This. so this is what, this is the part that you're gonna be cleaning. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off your ink well. And as you can see, it's all mucky in there. See, we used blue ink. You're gonna take off this. You're gonna take off your lid. You're gonna set that to the side. Next thing you're gonna do, I recommend when you take it apart, you're looking at it. So you're looking with the words up at you because you're gonna to have to remember how to put it back together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew the nozzle, okay? So we're gonna put the nozzle here. Be very careful, this is very sharp. This is a needle in here. This is your airbrush needle. If you can, if it'll, my hands are a mess. Um, so this is very sharp. Be very, very careful of that, okay? 
Then we're going to unscrew the end here. So this looks like a little um, bullet thing or whatever. And if you notice on here, there is a rubber gasket, so don't lose that. So that this is the front of my gun, this is the, la the end of my gun, and then the next part is this, okay? So you're gonna unscrew this as well. I'm gonna put this right here because this goes into that. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of keep it in order. Then there's another one right here. You're going to unscrew that. And you're gonna put that one in the center and then you're gonna pull that needle out. So be very careful. So this is how it's gonna go back together, guys. It's gonna go back, this is your front, this is your needle on the inside, this goes on the end of the needle, this goes on it, and this goes on it, okay? So now you're left with this. So this needs to be cleaned. What I do is I fill my bowl. You can reuse this alcohol. Just fill your little bowl, little container, whatever. You're going to plop this guy in here. You're gonna let it swirl around. You want it, so see how my water's turning blue? Because there was blue ink left in it, okay? You want all of that to come out. You want it all, so I just let that, let that sit in there and soak for a second. Then this part, you're gonna put that in there because you want that clean as well. Let me find my Q-tips. One second. Hello, Q-tips. Where did you go? Um, probably looking at them. Okay, so I have these, but these are not exactly. So then you're gonna grab you some Q-tips. These are these are kind of big, but um, they'll work. All right. So you're gonna wet your Q-tip, and then you're just gonna. Make sure there's no gunky stuff left in there. So see how there's blue coming out of there? You wanna make sure all of that ink is out because if it keeps gumming up, your, your gun is going to be gummy and it's gonna not work right. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put that back in the space here. Same thing, see how you still have blue ink dripping from that? You wanna get in there and get all of that out. Use a clean one. Okay. You can press back the chamber and dump it in there. And then you can take a dry one if you want to. Just make sure there's nothing, there's nothing blue still dripping out. And I still see a little bit of blue. So, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Then you're gonna clean your cup. Again, put it in the water. You know, wipe it all out. You want all the inks out. Make sure to rub and clean your little gaskets wherever things connect. That way, um, there's no buildup on there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Also clean your lid. My lid stayed clean this time, but when you overfill it or when you have a lot of ink in it, it does get ink all, um, oh, there's an ant, got it. That's weird. Um, gets gunk all around the lid, okay. This should be clean. But since we're cleaning everything else, we're gonna go ahead and clean that. All right, then you're going to carefully clean your needle. Be very careful that you do not poke yourself, okay? So the tip of my needle, there was blue on it. I wanna just easy breezy, clean it off, okay? This piece should be relatively clean. I stick it in there anyways. And last but not least, the end part. 
your muffler basically I guess I don't know why it's called I don't know what it's called it's, I don't know what the piece is called I could look it up in the back but all right so nothing in there so make sure there's nothing coming out of my gun and then we're ready to put this back together alcohol dries super fast so you don't have to worry about it getting in there and rusting um, because it's not going to rust it's 91 percent so it's basically um, super fast just make sure there's nothing else in there yep. all right i don't think there's anything blue coming out of there so i'm going to set this to the side because i'm going to pour that back into this bottle and make this my cleaning bottle okay so i have me some paper towels now what i'll do is i'll just quickly dry everything off which it's already pretty much dry because it's alcohol like i told you i missed wiping that so this when you're drying you can actually see if you've missed any spots so i forgot to to wash on the on the um, cap so i've washed that everything pretty dry this will get gummy a lot this is your um this is the tip so um you i would pay very close attention to cleaning that so i'm just gonna shake it in a paper towel make sure i got everything out of there all right and now she's ready to put back together so the last thing we did is the first thing we did so we're going to um put our needle back in the back you're going to press it until it pokes out so now if you want to protect it go ahead and put this on it put the tip on it so now there now you're not going to accidentally stab yourself okay then you're going to put this little guy right on the end where it came from now you don't want to over tighten this okay then you're going to put this guy on because this is what came off next all right and then you're gonna put this guy on. Let me make sure I cleaned it. Yep, I did. And then you're gonna put this guy on. So that guy has a little gasket that's gonna slide right into there. So this controls the gun. So if it's too far, you're not gonna get a lot. So this also is able so back it out just a little bit until you can pull the trigger and you can get a good pull. There you go. And then you will, if you're, if you're not putting it back in the box and you just keep it out, you just put this in this and then store it on here as it's charging. And there you have it. She's put back together. She's all clean. Turn her on. Nothing's coming out of her. There's air coming out. That is it. Nothing else. And she's ready to go for the next time you are ready to play. So it's that easy, guys. Um, easy to take out, easy to put together, super easy to use but a lot of fun. So hopefully this will help you guys. If you have any other questions, just give me a call. Not a call, don't call me, unless you have my telephone number, but I probably won't answer. But just leave me a message or reach out on Facebook um, and let us know or leave a comment below. Reach us any way you can and we will definitely assist you in anything that you need. So thank you so much for hanging out today and um, I hope you enjoy this as much as I've enjoyed it. All right, thanks guys, bye.